there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Always learn something new. And this one's going to be on my main channel, but also on my business channel. Also on my business channel, because it's more business, but I wanted to share this on the main one, right? So check it out. Looking a little bit different. Just slightly more dapper, just slightly. I ain't want to overkill it and whatnot, but I'm going to see, uh, uh, I'm going to a seminar. It's given by, what well, they say, Damon John's team. And Damon John, for those who don't happen to know, that's that brother who created FUBU and also uh, was a prominent uh, fixture on the TV show Shark Tank. And supposedly it's his team, it, they say his team, they say his team is coming out and they're doing something on, um, you know how to make money online and whatnot right now of course Rom makes his money online primarily primarily even though I'm about to expand to uh, events and such right but Damon John may one day be a billionaire and I meant to uh, before I did this uh, podcast well video I meant to look up his net worth but he makes more than me so, Rom is doing very well, but not as well as Damon John. Which means I got something to learn. And that's a, you know what, that's a very important thing. That's a very important thing. Always be open to learning something. And I've talked about this before, but this is one of those things I'm just going to stay on, on top of, right? One of those things I'm going to stay on top of because... You know, you don't want to ever get to the point where you think you've reached a pinnacle. You know, like uh, you get some folks, uh, some women in particular, thinking once you got that degree, it's it. Man, education continues. In fact, one thing that people, one thing I found with people with money, they will, they will be up in those seminars. In fact, I'm willing to bet because I bought some business cards with me. For those watching on my business channel, always keep some business cards on you. As much as possible. As much as if you know you're going to some place where there might be some business people, or you can do some network and keep them with you. You know, at least keep them in your car or something, right? Because you never know that one person who can take you to a million or something might just be sitting next to you at a seminar. And that's one thing I know is about the folks who really. I mean, they people will travel. I know people will take real estate seminars. Seminars on stuff they don't know anything about. And that's one thing that affluent people do. You know, they're not worried about uh, the latest party or a cabaret or something. All that's important. You know, you still got to have some fun. But, you know, their big thing is, hey, let me, let me go to the seminar and learn how to flip houses or something. So that's a very important thing. That's a very important thing. Yeah, it's a nice hot day out now. Because, um, you know, I know I'm usually, especially uh, on my main channel, talk about relationships for the men. And, you know, I say money, I say publicly, money itself doesn't make the man. Because you got men who will compromise their principles to make money. That's why I say money itself. But a man still need to have money. You still got to have the ability to do things out here. You still... You know, whatever you want to do, whether it's uh, buy homes, flip homes, have a business, travel, have freedom, especially freedom in this society since we, you know, we typically can't just stake out some area or something, build a home. We need freedom and, you know, freedom to go and everything. So you always want to look into that. And that's one thing I talked about in Nice Guys and Plays. That's like one of those parts that don't get talked about a lot. And I said every man should have a way to make money outside of what he does for a living. Now understand the hell? Oh man, somebody got that squirrel. <laughs> but um, every man should have a way to make some money, even if it's small, even if you want a job normally and you work for people, you make six figures. And you know, even though my personal philosophy is work for yourself, sometimes people, 
if they don't, if they in something, it's like they calling, and the only way they can really do it is work for somebody. Like they're, you know, they in a public service position. You know, you want to be a police officer, or a fireman, or uh, you know, maybe work in a hospital or something like that. Well, yeah, you, you know, you still go for that. But even with all of that, have that one thing that you can control. Have that one thing because that that's part of sovereignty. That's part of sovereignty, and I'm going to be talking about that on another video. Sometimes I, these videos get filmed uh, kind of out of order. So it was, I uh, have a video coming up, it's all about sovereignty. But I wanted to get this in, uh, put this, move this to the front of the queue. Because I'm, you know, I'm heading down here, going to learn something from, uh, hopefully I learn something, I'll be pissing up walking. I'm going to be honest, if I can find, even though the event is free, if I go in this joint and don't learn something new, Ron will be pissed because that's two hours I could have did something else. Yeah, it's free, but time is everything. Speaking of time, this is uh, Italian Twine Watch, a black-owned watchmaker, man. Y'all check that out, man, because that's another thing. Um, watches, interestingly enough, anybody can get into that game, and watches are important. Like, you, you open up, uh, like, those business magazines and magazines for the affluent shoot half the ads will be watches because if you really think about if you really think about it time itself is probably even more valuable than money because time that's that's your freedom that's when you can do live how you want and everything and people should be quite frankly working so they can have more free time or have you know develop more passive income somehow I'll talk about more on my business channel exclusive but since this is on my main channel as well, <laughs> just understand you constantly want to improve yourself. You, you constantly, constantly, you constantly want to improve yourself. You want to become uh, more economically viable because it's a tool. You want to have that tool regardless. You want to have that tool regardless of uh, what's going on. But you gotta understand, it is just a tool. It is just a tool. It gives you the freedom to do other stuff, and that has to be a part of it. Because, uh, and if we like, you know, take it just to dealing with women. Even though I've stated publicly, will state publicly, a man can get women without money. If you're talking about keeping that woman, at some point you gotta have the money. It's not the, and it's not even that she's a gold digger or anything. But if you're talking about actually trying to build a life with a woman, you know, man got to have money. And this is regardless of what she does. A man needs to be in a position where he can pay all the bills, he can take care of the home, everything. Even even if she's making money, even if he don't really have to. I mean, if, you, if you're in that situation, you know, she's making her own money too, she's contributing and everything. That's real cool. You can put that money away and then invest that into some income producing assets and then really become wealthy. But uh, yeah, I can check my business channel for that. So, man, what's that out on the. You know, I be driving sometime and I be like, damn, what's. Oh, okay. You look like an animal or something. Because we got a ton of deer around here. But, um, yeah, let me straighten this out a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think this would be a good time. I'm going to learn some, probably get some free books and stuff like that. Because, I'm going to be honest, I would probably, if the relationship thing wasn't so big. Now, I've already said I don't, want, I don't see myself doing a relationship thing in five years, or at least I don't want to. I do see myself doing a business thing. Because the fact of the matter is, unless we have a total economic collapse where everybody got hunt for their food, we still won't need money. So, and just my philosophy is better if a man has his own way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this should be pretty good and everything. Anyway, right? That's it for today. I'm glad spring finally made his way in. Shit. When it was holding on like a champ. When it, when it was holding on, man. It was just holding on. It was just like, come on, man. Just go. You'll be back. Hey. People say global warming ain't an issue. Anyway, that's it for the, uh, for the day. 
I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.